Hey guys and girls, I'm Ellie and today we're watching Camp Camp Season 4 Episode 7 Preston Good Plays Good Play Which is interesting, um, but before we get to that, uh, yeah, um, you may probably hear I'm a little bit better now um, I'm still coughing time and again, so if I do during the video I'm gonna mute myself again um, But I'm feeling much better than before Sadly I didn't had the chance to get to the festival because of being sick. Uh, that is a bummer. So yeah, but I used those days to kind of rest and get better. And this week, I guess I can get some of the recording done. Since I plan on pre-recording a lot of Gravity Falls, um, until like at least episode 8 of season 2 which is still a long way to go but um, I also have some plans for what happens after I do camp camp yes I will do three shows the first episode so you can vote on what show I'm gonna do um, but I'm not gonna start that show like I'm not gonna continue with episode 2 of this show until a long while after that next year probably because uh, when I'm when we're done with camp camp and stuff um, it's only gonna be a little bit over a month until well Ruby starts up again so that means that I'm gonna do those three shows the first episodes for you to vote on that and then I'm gonna do a little bit of special stuff no real reactions, just something to fill the time until Ruby Proper Volume 7 is finally gonna arrive in November. So um, that's the plan, so I don't like start another big show before actually a Ruby comes back again. Um, that new show will, well, continue after Ruby is done. Well, seeing it it may not be continuing then too. It it depends on how much time I have and what other shows RT is gonna throw at us. Um so yeah, but we're here with Camp Camp. I've talked long enough already. <clears throat> and it seems to get on my voice again. I shouldn't talk that much, but I mean videos. Uh, I have to talk somehow. Uh yeah, um Preston Good Plays Good Play. Well, last time we had the leaders of the camps, um, we had Pikeman, we had Sasha, and we had Max going on a journey together and having to work together at some point, which was kind of fun. And now we're gonna go to Preston and, well, he's gonna perform a play, I guess. Because what else would it be? It's in the title. So we're gonna focus on him now. Um, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued. What is it gonna be? I, I'm a theater kid, so yeah, my theater group in school was pretty crazy. So we we did a lot of abstract crazy stuff, so maybe I can see some stuff in there too. <laughs> but I'm I'm curious about what the conflict of the episode will be. But yeah, I guess we'll start. And yeah, I'm still gonna have my tea to get me through this and um, it's not gonna be too long until I'm gonna do the Ruby soundtrack reaction for volume 6 um, and I want to be able to sing there um, so oh god I'm hyped for that uh, it's only like Flint of Ruby only has two videos left to upload so I don't think it's gonna take too long and then I'm gonna record that and it's gonna be awesome but now we're watching Preston Good Plays Good Play in three two one and go Way to juggle, juggaloos. very talented people be instructing us what's there to instruct about juggling throw ball up catch ball repeat sequence She's not okay wrong. Eureka! I, knew I, I did a beginner juggling course once awesome not try these i will not take a part of this juggling is for common court 
Baltos Jesters. Ah, the wholesome art of ball tossing, or as the French call it, le jonglerie. <laughs> David said John, and that's almost dong, which is a comedic word. How do you know French, okay. David? Oh, it's a long and boring story. You wouldn't be interested. You're probably right. A long time ago, before yeah, Nature of Nature course he's going to tell it. Bosom, I attended a clown school in Paris. I didn't know that. Wow. It was a different time, what I now refer to as the dark years. <laughs> the dark years? Really? Back in my day, I could handle six balls. Does that answer your question? It literally does. I'm just getting flashbacks to The Hundred Season 5, the episode The Dark Year. It's not gonna be like that. <laughs> okay. It's been some time until I had French in school. Poor David. Okay. I mean, that's not a play, that's like really just comedy. That's his dream. He just wants that so much. There's a place I know that's tucked away, a place where you and I can stay. You can go to laugh and play and have adventures every day. I know it sounds sad to believe, but guys and girls, it's true. Camp Canva is the place for me and you. <coughs> yeah, my voice. But I can sing a little bit now, so that's improvement. I think I needed those few days of rest. Like I'm feeling much better and I'm and I'm gonna in a good mood today, so that's great. <laughs> Hello, Preston is talking now. Consider this a cordial invitation to my new production, premiering tonight! <laughs> is it about what I think it's about? No spoilers! But let's just say you'll fall in love with it immediately. All right. Okay. I think I'm picking up what you're laying down. It's a bit of a personal departure. Previews have been going very well. Does it focus on a recent stroke of genius you may have had? Hmm. And does it involve that aforementioned stroke of genius continuously tossing a number of objects into the air only to hilariously fail at their attempts at entertainment? Huh? Probably not. Uh, anyway, tonight! He just got the attention for one time and now he's feeling very invigorated to do another one. You okay? I'm fine. Just doing breathing exercises. Yeah, you need those. A stage actor's toolkit. Kind of seems like you're hyperventilating. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gwen. Does it? Does it seem like I'm hyperventilating? Yes, it does. Yes. Man, I really hope he does that wacky camp counselor guy again. My favorite part is when the balls hit him in the head. I like when I laugh and the inner hatred is silent for a fleeting moment. That's good, I guess. Gravity. What is it? We feel gravity, but does gravity feel back? Yeah, that camp guy. Yeah, no more mental masturbation. We came to laugh. Gravity pushes. Well. Gravity pulls. Balls, 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 balls. Uh, but gravity's dumb, just like me. Do, 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 picking up the balls. Derpy, derpy, derp, blurp. Yeah, he's feeling pressured. I don't think that was planned from the beginning. He probably wanted to do a lot of different stuff. Really, did Dolph just have the book I thought he had in his hand? Show. They love you. 
Well, that's just the same with different costumes. Tell you what I'm so glum about. This drivel. Drivel? It's a success. Of course it is. These simpletons adore suckling mindless opiate from the teeth of their foolish master. I do not. Basically. popular we've ever been. Yes, but at what cost? The cost of fame. It's bigger than you or me or even us. Broad art is beneath us. We strive to stand among artistic legends like Godard or McGee. Oh, you're just jealous. Jealous? Yes. You yeah. You've been supportive of me. Go away. You go away and never come back. Okay. okay. My thought just wanted to drop these off and say, Ubukusho. Get out. You're a hack, Preston. I am not. I must give the people what they want. Okay, that one mirror picture stayed there. That's that's well, creepy. We thought we could help. Get a glimpse into your process. I'm okay. You're His process is just donning a cold, new gloomy June day. thing, like a new costume, and then doing the same thing what over and over again, because no, no, you don't appreciate don't theater. Wrong. I just wonder if Wacky Counselor couldn't be even wackier this time around. <sighs> Yeah, it's not working for me. Very fun, but that's not really Wacky Camp Counselor's voice. Not how I imagine it, anyway. That's called a compliment sandwich. Okay, maybe we wait until the end for feedback? Of course. Uh, action! Cut! Look, as an audience member, I need to care about Wacky Camp Counselor if I'm gonna care about those balls hitting him on the head. Okay. I sort of see WCC as more of a misunderstood... <sighs> Why do I know how that feels? In my head canon, Wacky Camp Counselor was born on the wings of a giant eagle. Aesthetically sure. speaking, I think the matte paint. No, 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 no. It just makes Preston, I feel you. Those things are terrible. Them trying to control what you're doing. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Your future, Preston. No. I doubt they will stay at camp for all their lives, but okay. Isn't that the thing from Up? Like the, the balls on the... <laughs> okay. Okay. That's creepy. But it's just a dream. He's awake. What? Oh, where am I? In my infirmary. You fainted. Gave us quite a fright. You beat urine in your pants. You're all here. Okay. Of course we're here, Preston. We were worried sick. <sighs> worried that we wouldn't get another chance to see a new wacky camp counselor play tonight. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, pal. We really need to That's all they want. Capacity. Do you think we could get a quick one before the morphine kicks in? Leave me alone, you locusts! Why did he have a catheter? He was asleep for ten minutes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, is he still asleep? Or is he just going crazy? Yeah. Look at us. Do the, the Juliet. Old pair of thinky thinks. Yes, I too came here to think. Oh, you go first. It's just fame is a fickle mistress. Oh, tell me about it. I was voted le plus susceptible des jongleurs avec cette balaise at clown school. I'm just going through the motions now. Something with the most. my audience and stay relevant. And for what? Look, I know all you campers think I have this impenetrable tough guy exterior but underneath mm. i'm a vulnerable cat you just have to do no. what makes you happy <laughs> nature called me and i answered what's calling you just what doing what you the want audience wants? the audience will respond to your passion it's your art not theirs yeah for the character tell a story worth telling you're right i have to follow my art heart not my exact phrasing but yes technically oh, david I'm sorry about basing my wacky camp counselor character on you. On me? Well, I never realized that. I'm honored. You are? Mm -hmm. Well, that's Thank great. You, David. Wacky camp counselor guy. Me. 
Man, am I happy to get some wacky camp counselor in my life. It sure has been a dark night of the soul without him. I can't believe they are so crazy about that. Yeah, bunk up another bongo. New York City, 1985. They say it's the city that never sleeps. Yeah, more like it's got insomnia. Okay. Yeah, they're not gonna be imp impressed, right? It's probably not gonna be impressive for them, right? Yeah. But he did what he wanted to. And I mean, it's a camp. Great show. My favorite part was the four hour runtime. No more talk, only dream. Thanks for the advice, David. Yeah. That so runtime is pretty full. No, no. You taught me there's no point in making art if it's not something that I myself would enjoy. Plus, any reaction, positive or negative, is still a reaction. Uh -huh. That's good. Tomato stew ain't gonna make itself. <laughs> Pigs blood <black> tomatoes. <laughs> is that the same bucket he had in that episode with the conversions? Probably. So yeah, that was Preston Good Place, Good Play. And it probably won't be that like that for many of you. Um, but I feel like this episode really resonated with me. Um, I just feel it. I in some cases in life I am Preston. Like that's the thing. I do stuff that I want to do. And there's not always good reactions to that. Um, I don't always get praised. I, sometimes also like they say, pe people are not interested in stuff I do. And that's okay. Because I want to do it. And it took me a long time to accept that. And uh, that's what this episode is about. About Preston's journey to accept that not everything he does is going to be liked by the others. And uh, it it gets very close to my heart in that part. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut that out probably. I had a little car thing experience. Uh, but yeah, what did I say? I, I was talking about Preston did this play or this little performance of the juggling and stuff. And people liked it. So he continued and did all the stuff that the audience wanted to have. And that's the problem. He, he tried to convert to stuff that he probably didn't want to do. Y you could see that when he had this first performance. When... Yeah, uh, when he was starting to talk about gravity and all that. But he had to change his performance just because the audience wanted to. But you have to keep in mind, this is a camp. Those are children. Children that have a lot of interests. A lot of different interests. And only Preston is the one that is clearly enjoying theater. So the others don't. Um, the others only enjoy a good laugh here and there. They don't appreciate his work. And what he did was he let himself be dragged down by this. Um, the others tried to change his ideas, to change his performance just how they wanted to. But I think it has a great message. Like, yeah, they didn't like his play in the end. And yeah, it was probably a bit long, but Preston did what he wanted to do. Like, he let his inner self out. He listened to his art heart, which I find a pretty amazing expression. Um, and yeah, I, I feel that. Um, 
it has been the same with me starting this channel, I think. Um, before that, I had done so many things, like I wrote fan fictions that sometimes didn't really resonate with people, I guess. Um, there had been one series of fan fictions that was pretty okay, like I, I got a, f a few people reading that, um, and it was funny, but I mean, it's been a few years. Um, but yeah, I didn't really get the attention. And at first, I was thinking maybe I did something wrong. And I felt bad about myself. But now uh, that I started this channel, I, I'm i not doing this to please everyone in the world. That's the point. I'm doing this because I want to do this. And there are still people out in the world that that want this too. And I guess Preston has to learn that, that maybe not in this camp, but there are people out in the world who share his passion. And, and that's the lesson that we have here. You shouldn't concern yourself with people that are, that are not interested in the things you like. Just do what you want to do and be amazing the way you are. And that's a message to all of you. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit that I have to address that once in a while. You don't have to feel bad about yourself because other people are not interested in what you're doing. Just be yourself. That's the whole point of living. What, what's the point of living your life if you're only doing stuff that others want you to do? Do what you're interested in. And don't let anyone hold you back. So that is my message. And yeah, this episode, though not as funny for me as some might think, it, it really got close to me. It, it resonated with me very much. So yeah, that's it, I guess. Um, I'm feeling really sentimental right now um but yeah it's, it's gonna be like that and i'm looking forward to next episode even though i don't think that the next episodes will get that effect out of me so yeah i feel you're pressed and i'm like you sometimes and i guess there are a lot of people who are like him in some situations but yeah on this note have a nice day Believe in yourself, trust in yourself, do what you want, and I see you in the next video. V video. Right. Video. <laughs> Bye.